starting. It's all madness. There's a lot of traffic and reports that teenagers armed with knives turned up at the school. If you don't move that police car, nobody's going to go anywhere, mate. The police car is blocking the road off. I'm just saying, like, nobody's going to move unless you do move that car. I'm just telling you that. No, 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 yeah, no, it's literally, it's literally flat bang in the middle of the road. That's good, yeah. I just didn't want it to get any worse for you. Is there any official statement yet on the situation? Uh, well, witnesses have told me that ch uh, pupils turned up with guns and knives and stuff outside the school. That's just hearsay, mate. But, uh, but can you confirm or can you deny that though? 100%? Again, we didn't look at the mouse, we didn't know what we had on it. Oh, it's one male. Only um, one male. Again, these are things that are common. Really a uh, very quick basis. As you can see, the situation is uh, yeah. complicated. But I've just had a few pupils tell me that there was a, 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 a very serious incident. Yeah, well, that's hearsay, mate. But no, uh, can you confirm if anybody was injured? Brilliant, that's good to hear. I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a breaking news story. Thank you to the viewer that let me know of the situation that was occurring outside Perryfields High School in Albury and also Perryfields Primary School. If my son went to one of these schools, I'd be furious right now at the school because they've been very quiet and very cryptic about the situation that has occurred. I've got several different versions of events as to what happened and I also interrogated a police officer at the scene to try to get them to just answer straight up what is going on. The children were locked down in two Albury schools during the incident the school said was due to safeguarding. Initial reports that I was told was that several people were outside the school with weapons. There was also some initial reports that there may have been a shooting. I do not believe this occurred because there was no armed police there. If there's any reports of weapons, there should be armed police. But what the police officer said at the scene is that there was one man outside the school and he hasn't been arrested and there is one man that they're looking for. Due to the fact the school have not wrote a proper statement or answered any questions, we have no idea what was going on and I believe that Chinese whispers have spread throughout the school and the situation has been made worse as it gets spread to another person. I have also now received a statement officially from the police and it says that they were called out to... And it said they were called to Tame Road in Albury at 4pm. When officers arrived, a group dispersed. Police remained in the area and inquiries continued. One person was arrested for possession of drugs with intent to supply. Nobody is believed to have been injured at this stage. So that is the official statement on the events by the police. So this is about halfway between what everybody was saying. People were saying to me that there was a group outside. The police officer said there was one person. So there was a wide and varied amount of accounts as to what happened. But that is the official police statement as it has just been released. When I arrived at the scene, there was a massive traffic jam and this was due to a police car that was parked in the middle of the street for what seemed like no reason. There was no reason to block off that part of the road during rush hour traffic after school. I then approached the police officer and explained to her the situation and the fact they needed to move the vehicle to stop people being trapped on this road. So when I attended, I went to the high school, but I found out afterwards that the primary school was also shut. I believe the primary school is behind it on a different road. Why they would need to close both schools, I have no idea. This is why we have questions. The students are finally released at 4pm and it's not clear how many students have left the school but the officer also confirmed that there was no injuries. So I went up there in order to be able to get you the right story and exactly what happened. And at the end of the day, they've been anything but helpful. So this story is breaking news. I'll definitely keep you updated any progression with this case. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support and send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com.